Look, I don't want to sound persistent, but when are you going to pay back the money from last Friday? Oh, hey! Um, what money? What are you talking about? Oh, come on, Gloria. Stop fooling around. You can't have forgotten we weren't that drunk. I lent you $100 last Friday when we went out for dinner. Remember? You were sitting next to me. You said you forgot your wallet and asked whether you could borrow some money from me. Oh, did I borrow money? Oh, I must have drank a tad bit too much. <laughs> Gloria, there's no way you got drunk. We only had like two glasses of wine each. And I know you're no lightweight. There's no way you forgot, so stop playing dumb. Besides, you always forget your wallet. One would even suspect you're doing it on purpose. Uh, so, I'm like a little forgetful. No need to be so feisty. Look, $100 is kind of big for me. Can you please make sure to give it back? Wow, I never thought you were such a stingy person. Loosen up a bit. <laughs> Lol. Loosen up? You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> Come on, it's just a few drinks with the ladies. There's no need to make a huge fuss over it. A few drinks? It was a good hearty dinner. We went to a steakhouse. I think that's something worth making a fuss about. By the time you realized you had forgotten your wallet, the steak had already arrived. Someone had to cover for you. And since I was sitting next to you, I lent you the money. And on top of that, you even ordered dessert. <laughs> You know I can't resist chocolate lava cakes. I'm sorry, okay? To be honest, I didn't think I was borrowing any money from you. What do you mean you weren't borrowing? I clearly remember signing the amount off for you as well. <laughs> of course I remember that too, silly. <laughs> I just assumed that you were buying me dinner. You know, you said, just this one time. Why would I buy you dinner? It's not your birthday, and I'm not your husband. I said, just this one time, as in, I'll lend you money just this one time. You even said you would pay me back. Don't try to twist words with me, Gloria. Really? I think you're remembering it wrong. Anyway, don't be so stingy. I would have done the same thing for you too, you know. You're saying you would pay for my dinner? Yeah, I would have bought my friend a dinner anytime. <laughs> Sorry, but I really doubt that. I have known you for a few years now, and you have never even offered to pay once. You always forget your purse or your wallet whenever we meet up for coffee or drinks. And you hardly ever pay anyone back. It's actually starting to get quite annoying. <laughs> I'm like... A little forgetful. It's not my fault. Look, a hundred dollars isn't a small amount of money. It's not like your regular coffee from Starbucks or something, okay? I was keeping my cool and trying not to be a stingy friend to you, but there is a limit to my savings as well. If you count the numerous times I've been lending you money, it would probably be way more than five hundred dollars by now. Oh, come on. You're exaggerating. I'm sure I don't owe you that much. <laughs> Lol. Really? Do you want me to give a list of all the times you asked me to cover for you? Each time we go out, you always seem to forget your wallet. Since I'm one of your old friends, I tend to cover for you. And you keep saying you will pay me back. But you have yet to pay me back even once. It's really damn annoying. Oh, come now. I paid you back for the coffee last week, remember? One coffee? All the others are still open bills. Besides, I've heard you've been borrowing money from other moms as well. Well, it's not like I want to forget my wallet, you know. Gloria, you really need to be careful. Not everyone is going to be as patient as me. Even I've had enough of lending you money. You should really start paying everyone back so they won't be breathing down your neck. You mean like you? I don't think anyone else is quite as stingy as you are. Do you want me to call them up and ask them? 
Okay, okay, I got it already. I will be careful, and don't worry, I will pay you back all the money that I owe, okay? I sure hope so. Some of the others are already complaining, just so you know. Okay, I got it. Thanks for letting me know. By the way, where are you going next month for spring break? I'm not sure yet. I heard you were planning to go overseas with some of the other moms. <gasps> so exciting! What? Who did you hear that from? Well, it's not like someone told me. I actually overheard you guys talking about it the other day. So, what's the plan? Where are we going? You have our family booked in as well, right? Uh, no, actually, we haven't made reservations for your family. Oh, come on! No need to hog all the fun! And this time, we're all going with our families! Ah, how fun! The kids are going to have a blast! You can't leave us out! Imagine how upset Peter's going to feel if he hears all his friends went on a trip without him. Well, we're not all going, so you don't need to worry about Peter getting upset. It's just us and Kirsten's family that's going. Laura and Michelle aren't coming. Oh, come on. We want to join too, please. Sure, if you want to come, you can come. Just make sure you pay for the reservations. Wow, are you accusing me of not paying? That's a bit harsh. To be honest, yes. We've already talked about your history, so I have zero confidence you're going to pay your way. Oh, come on. We're talking about a trip overseas. Of course I'm going to pay. Don't worry. <laughs> well, why don't you pay me back for the dinner then if you're so ready to pay for a holiday? That again? Look, I will pay for the holiday and for the dinner I owe you. And the other lunches and breakfasts we had. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay for them too. Hell, I'll even buy you a drink with all that. So, tell me, where are we going? What's the plan? I'm super excited at the moment. I sure hope you keep your word. Ugh, I promise I will keep my word. So, where are we going? We're planning to go to the Bahamas. Ah, so nice. Uh, I definitely want to go. Yeah, we found a pretty reasonable travel package. Oh, great. Please sign us up. This is super exciting. I will sign you and your family up only if you pay up front. Of course. Don't worry. And don't forget to pay up for everything else as well. If you're able to pay for the trip, then you should be able to pay for the rest. I would advise you to pay everyone back before we leave to avoid any nasty rumors. <sighs> don't worry. I will pay everything. Can I trust you? Yes, of course. Don't worry. I will pay everything once my husband's next paycheck comes through. He's going to get his bonus as well, so everything should be good. And when exactly is that going to be? Next month. Next month? I hope it's before the trip. I sure hope so myself. <laughs> Don't <laughs> me, Gloria. I'm serious. You're going to pay everyone back and also going to pay for the holiday beforehand. Got it? You're not coming unless you pay everyone back beforehand. That's the deal. Oh, come on. Don't be so uptight. Don't worry. Everything will get sorted soon. I promise. Just sign me up and make the reservations. Oh, I'm super excited. Peter's going to be so thrilled. I'm going to be the best mom ever. <laughs>
because I know you're lying. I put up with your excuses before, but this is going too far. Hey, I definitely told my husband, and he said he paid already. Well, I just talked with Kirsten, and she said she hasn't received any money. Fine, I'll check with him again, but I'm sure he sent it. I'm going to believe Kirsten over you. Get her the money A-S-A-P, okay? Kirsten's family is not your cash cow. Got it? I know, I know! Jeez, I'm not an evil villain, you know. I'm sure it was an honest mistake, so I will just check A-S-A-P with hubby, okay? And please... Don't forget your damn wallet, cards, and cash this time, okay? You need to pay the hotel when you check out. No one is going to cover for you guys. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't forget. <laughs> and I'll make sure we will pay for the package as well. That you have to pay today. If you don't pay today, don't you dare try to come. Go by yourself. Hey, don't act so cold. It'll be more fun if we're all together. Come on, Sarah. We've been friends for like four years now. Don't give me the cold shoulder just because of a small misunderstanding. It will get sorted, I promise. Get it done, Gloria. I mean it. If I don't hear from Kirsten about a transfer, don't come. I don't want to be friends with a lying scammer. Scammer? I will pretend that I did not read that. Whatever you say, we're coming and there is no stopping us. We have every right to enjoy this trip just as much as you do. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow at the airport. Bye. What an amazing trip. <laughs> the food, the resort, the tour, everything is just perfect. It's such a shame that everything is going to end so soon. So, what's our plan for today? It's our last day, right? What should we do? I was thinking maybe we can go to the spa one last time. Just us ladies and leave the kids with the hubbies. Sounds good, right? Let me know when you're ready. Sarah? You okay? Are you giving me the cold shoulder or something? Come on, let's go to the spa and relax. Hey, where are you guys? We didn't see any of you at the poolside or at the hotel buffet. Hello? Seriously, Sarah, are you guys okay? Did you get involved in some accident or something? We're fine. There's no accident. Oh, thank God. You got me worried sick. <laughs> Where were you guys? What on earth happened? No worries. Everything is fine with us. Well, that's good and all, but seriously, like, where are you? The hotel is saying you've all checked out already. They're even saying that our bill hasn't been paid yet. Oh, right. Well, that's normal, don't you think? I told you you have to pay for the hotel yourself when you check out. Besides, we're already at the airport and we'll be boarding soon. You should hurry. What? What do you mean you're boarding soon? Well, they moved up the flight due to weather issues. Not sure about the exact reason, but the airline did send out a message to all of us yesterday. Why didn't you tell me? The airline company should have already sent you a text message about it. It's your fault you didn't check and read through properly. But we came here as a group. Didn't you think of sending us a text or something? Or inform us about the change? For God's sake, Gloria, you're not a damn child. Stop relying on everyone else to plan things for you. This whole holiday, you and your husband have been just unbelievable. Jumping onto everyone's plans when we clearly want time for ourselves, making us pay for everything you eat or buy. Well, we can't help it. You know, we both forgot our wallets. How could you just leave us here? We can't pay the hotel bill. <laughs> what a lie. It's not a lie. That's enough. Who in their right mind would forget their wallet when going on a trip abroad? You brought your passports with you, didn't you? On top of that, we have proof 
You have your wallet because my husband just happened to see you guys buy coffee for yourselves with your damn wallet. Both of you are just crooks. We made it clear that we didn't want you guys coming unless you paid up front. But nope, you still came ahead and joined. Then you made us pay for all of you. Well, now it's time to grow up and pay for yourselves. Wait, sorry, Sarah, we're really sorry. But please don't leave us here, please help us. We can't pay this hotel bill. Sure you can, we saw you use your card before. But our credit card has already reached its limit and we don't have that much cash. We can't pay this much. Can't you come back and pay for us? I swear, I will pay you back when we get back. Sorry, can't do that. The flight will be leaving soon. What? Oh no, I guess that means you're going to miss your flight and we'll have to end up buying a new one. Oh dear. What? We don't have that much money. There's no way we can pay for a plane ticket as well. Sarah, this is just cruel. How could you do this to us? Don't blame me or anyone else for that matter. This is all you and your husband's fault, not ours. You should have kept track of your money and your flights yourself. You're not kindergartners. But you could have just said something. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Then you would have tried to check out at the exact same time as us and make us pay for your hotel bill. Look, I'm sorry, really. I promise I won't do it again, so could you please send us some money? The audacity you have to still ask for money from us is beyond my understanding. You're the one who should be sending money to both me and Kirsten. There's no way we're going to send you money. You guys are on your own. Oh, and just so you know, when we get back, Kirsten and I are both going to file a complaint to the police about you. What? What do you mean by complaint? Well, thinking about all the money that we've been lending you the past year or so, along with this vacation package, it's quite a big number that's worth complaining about legally. I told you I will pay everyone back. Can't you just wait a little bit longer? I think we've waited long enough. Besides, it's not normal for someone to come and try to join an overseas trip for free. Both you and your husband are acting like scammers, to be honest. We are not scammers. We may have our faults, but we're not scammers. Sarah, I'm really sorry. I really am. So please, can you help us somehow? No one is going to help you from now on. If you don't want us to file a complaint, I advise you pay us back as soon as you get back. Yes, of course, I will pay back. But could you send us some m money, please? At least for our flight, perhaps? That's a hard no. Sorry. Like I said, none of us are ever going to help you out again. Figure it out yourself. Ask family or something. Please, don't let our friendship go like this. You're the one who let our friendship become like this, not me. I tried putting up with it as long as I could, but I told you this holiday was going to be the final straw if you didn't pay up properly. And I kept my word. Now try keeping yours. But, like, we don't have enough money. Well, you only have yourselves to blame for that. You never should have come then. If you didn't have money, don't go on a vacation. Save up next time. But, Sarah, please. Without money, we can't do anything here. Well, at least a lot of people speak English. Maybe you can find some part-time work there until you can afford a plane ticket. <laughs> Sarah, please. Sorry, I can't help you. And seems like we're boarding now, so I'll have to turn off my phone soon. See you back at home. Remember to pay everyone back when you get home if you don't want the police knocking on your door. Hope you figure things out. Bye. Since Gloria and her husband didn't have enough money to pay for their bill, her family ended up staying for another night at the hotel. Of course, this increased their fees, but they had no choice, otherwise the hotel would have called the police. Apparently, they ended up asking both their parents to wire enough money to get them back home. 
Once they were back, all the moms asked for their money back with all the receipts they had kept to show how much Gloria owed. It turned out she had even asked some people to buy clothes and bags for her as well. Since Gloria didn't have money on hand but didn't want to deal with the police, she managed to get a loan from the bank. With this incident, it became clear that Gloria's family was actually going through a cash crisis because her husband was fired from work last year and was struggling to find a stable job. After a short while, they moved out of town. Nobody really knows where they went. I suppose Gloria couldn't face seeing the other moms after the whole Bahamas incident. It really is unthinkable for someone to try and take advantage of others to go on vacation when they know full well they don't have the money. The kids were sad to lose a friend, but the moms are all happy to finally be able to plan little outings or dinner nights without the fear of dealing with another person's bill.